Today, 13 species of Columbia River salmon are listed under the Endangered Species Act. Despite efforts to restore fish habitat, improve river conditions, and a 2012 reform agreement between Oregon and Washington that banned gill netting in the lower main stem of the Columbia River, wild salmon face new threats, including drought and unhealthy ocean conditions. Protecting them is more important than ever. So why are the 2012 reforms now under attack by fish and wildlife officials in both states? That's right. Officials appointed by Oregon Governor Kate Brown and Washington Governor Jay Inslee are leading an effort to unravel gill netting restrictions that protect wild salmon runs and wildlife like orca whales that rely on salmon as a food source. Around the world, gill nets, known as curtains of death or strangle nets, have been outlawed because they indiscriminately snare fish passing through and then slowly suffocate them. These nets can run up to a thousand feet wide and dozens of countries have banned them to protect countless marine species. Mexico has banned them. The UN outlawed them on the high seas 30 years ago. Very recently, the state of California also banned them. But here at home, Gill nets might return across the lower Columbia, catching and killing endangered fish, going against the reforms put in place six years ago, if we don't stop it from happening. These reforms are in place to protect wild salmon runs and even provide for commercial gill netting in small off-channel areas to harvest hatchery fish, while allowing endangered fish to pass upstream and spawn through the main arterial of the river. But fish and wildlife officials appointed by Oregon and Washington's governors are considering reversing the gill net reforms. Just one vote could turn back the clock. We cannot let this happen. Decades of habitat restoration work from volunteers in rural watersheds and urban rivers shouldn't be squandered by outdated fishing practices. Call or email Governor Brown and Governor Inslee now and tell them not to go back on their word. We need to continue to protect the health of the Columbia River, our precious salmon runs, and all wildlife that depend on it. Tell our governors, no gill nets on the lower Columbia.